Final Fantasy uh, 1 and 2 were packaged onto the same disc when they were released on the PS1. So it was a two for one deal, which was really nice. You're getting exposed to some gaming history. And at the same time, you got two games for the price of one, which was really nice. And funny enough, in the same way that Final Fantasy 1 opened me up to this idea, as I'd spoken about in the last episode, of sort of how the futility of a hero's quest can still have meaning. Final Fantasy II, right off the bat actually, taught me quite a bit about letting go. Not giving up, but more understanding that there are going to be situations in a video game and outside of the realm of fantasy and fiction in real life, in your life, there will be situations that you have no control over. They're going to happen regardless of how you try to affect them. And you won't have any say in how they play out. Right at the beginning of Final Fantasy II, there is an attack on your town. Again, I'm trying to remember this game without going back on cliff notes, because I want to see just how good my memory is. But it's... It's almost Star Wars-like. Actually, I think that's how a lot of people describe Final Fantasy II, being very reminiscent of Star Wars, because there was... Uh, you're part of a rebellion that's fighting against... Actually, I think the bad guys are called the Empire. And there's an evil emperor and all this kind of stuff. Anyways, at the beginning, your hometown's being attacked. And you, your sister, and your brother... Because I think you're all sort of... You're all orphans? Or your adopted family? Something like that. You're trying to get out of town. And as you're fleeing, you fight some enemies. But then you get caught by the... I think like the Royal Guard or some elite soldiers. Anyway... And there's a battle, and it's a real introduction to the combat system for Final Fantasy II, which, as a side note, is, <laughs> well, I've got to say, one of my favorite combat systems in any Final Fantasy game because of how the uh, skill progression system works. But that's a discussion for another time. In this fight, one by one, your party is going to go down, and you lose. And no matter how hard you try, no matter the different tactics you use... No matter the different spells or strategies you employ, it doesn't matter. It's a no-win scenario. And I'm a guy who believes there is no such thing as a no-win scenario. There's always a way that you can come out on top. But in this case, that's not true. You're meant to lose. It's part of the narrative of the story to split up the group, which leads to conflicts down the road. Again, story for another time. But it's an interesting idea to put the player in a situation where, in any other sort of game, there might be a chance. The odds could be seemingly insurmountable. It could be a fight where, yeah, most of your party is going to go down. Maybe it's going to come down to one character against many. But there's a chance that you might be able to win. And in this case, that's not how it goes. Your entire party goes down. One by one, you get to watch everybody go pop, 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 until there's nobody left, and you lose. Now, of course, <laughs> the characters don't die. It'd be a very short game if they did. They wake up, one of them's missing, and then part of the game becomes trying to figure out what happened, why the town was attacked, what this empire is up to, joining the rebellion, and tracking down your lost bro. But it's an interesting idea to introduce that right at the beginning of the game. Because, at least for me, it put it in my head that, okay, that was a battle I could never win. Is that going to happen again? And if it does, what am I going to do? Do I just have to lay down and accept defeat again? Should I try anyways? Because I'll be honest, when that first happened... I was reloading that again and again and again because I felt like, okay, okay, maybe I can win if I do this. Nope, okay, maybe I can win if I do this. And I must have tried like five different times. Didn't matter, the outcome was the same every single time. And I think that's something that you can take away from that, again, <laughs> in a more introspective kind of way, that there are going to be situations in life and... Yes, in video games, where you're going to run into something that you have absolutely no say in, and that you have no control over. 
Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a situation where you have to accept defeat or, you know, lay down and surrender. More, I would say, a realization that there are going to be moments, situations that you find yourself in or a part of where you're more or less beholding to the outcome. You have no impact or influence on it. You just have to accept it. The, the end result is still going to affect you. But you, regardless of you being there or not, it's going to happen. And if you are in that situation, you have to accept it. You have to relinquish control. And for me, <laughs> as I am now, that's a very good lesson to be reminded of. Because I'm a guy who... I like to have control over whatever I'm involved in, whether it's work, personal life, emotionally. I mean, who doesn't want to be in control of their own self, right? But there are some times where you just can't do that. You have to relinquish control and accept things as they are. So maybe this was a little bit deep for a Thoughts on Gaming episode, but it was reminded. I was reminded of it when I finished the last one, and I thought... This is a good one to talk about. And incidentally, if you haven't played Final Fantasy 2, it's one of my favorite RPGs. Again, <laughs> I love, love just how <clears throat> organic and also broken the skill leveling system is. Play the game and you'll see what I mean. And just a little hint, if you want to level your swords and magic faster, attack yourself. Then heal yourself. It works, trust me. It's insane, but it works. And something I should talk at at length in another episode. But anyway, that's it for this one. If you guys liked it, of course, please feel free to share it around. And until next time, my name's Rye. Take care of yourselves.